on this vehicle from the very outset of this police chase, which of course helps police on the ground, and by the way, it helps us keep track of where he is as well. He may be down on 4th Street. I'm having, well, I'm doing the best job I can try to depict where the geography is here. And uh, no, I think he's on Columbus Boulevard right now as we are looking uh, at, uh, at the piers, at uh, the river. He is now on Columbus Boulevard going north, I believe. And I think he's going to try to get back onto I-95. I think that might be his object here. Well, it's, uh, I suppose, silly for me to make suppositions about his intent. All I know is that police are again close at hand. Now, this could be it right here. Yes, the driver has his, has his hands up as police uh, are now making final approach. Police on foot, police in a vehicle, and one would only assume there are going to be a lot more vehicles at this location in a very short period of time. Now five or six police officers on foot with guns drawn, and they are making the apprehension that has been uh, in the making here now for close to a half hour. It is a They are in Franklin Square Park, where we uh, have seen so many festivals and fun activities in Philadelphia year-round. Tonight, it is the scene of something quite different. The apprehension of an alleged carjacker who put the lives of a 24-year-old woman and her two- and four-year-old children in serious jeopardy earlier tonight after allegedly carjacking their vehicle